Hello and welcome back to my adventure riding the entire world by motorcycle and today we're about to discover some of the most hidden gems, the best twisters in Italy. <laughs> So last night I stayed at Hotel Villa Plaza and I'll show you exactly where on the map but when I say the service and the warm welcome was out of this well but I'll explain more as we're going but just look we're already massively high up in the mountains most basically skiers and people in leotards that want to hike and cycle come here for the unbelievable roads and obviously the skiing this is amazing but today today the route the twisters the bends are going to be absolutely unreal ashworth is i've checked her over the oil's good it's ready to go so let's go on the road and let's go and find these absolutely amazing twisters okay so let's check out the route and exactly where i am so i've stayed here in this little mountain town so this is the ss12 now, according to Andreas, who is my, look after my monkey bike, who's obviously the Italian knowledge man, he's sort of given me the waypoint, and he said that this route, the Twisters, is like so famous for bikers, they love it. And yesterday, coming up, obviously at the end of the day, I saw bike after bike, so I'm excited for this. But you can just, even coming out of this hotel, the climate was first gear, you can see. And then just look and look and look oh wow this is going to be good the ss12 let's zoom out a little bit on the map so you can see uh so we are here exactly and the, the bell the church bell everything about this place is so magical so where we're going to go pella now virginia virginia and then through here and etc etc oh wow and then we're going to end up I don't know if we're going to end up here, because I might do a load of riding through the twisters, see how far I get, and then hang around here for an extra day, and then from there. Anyway, I'll explain that later. Right, let's, let's, let's just see where today takes us. Let's fire up Ashworth, and let's get on the road. Woo, bum switch. I mean, one thing this bike doesn't like... And I've noticed it currently is rain and it rained yesterday on the way up here so it got wet and it never likes rain now um, so I believe there's a potential maybe plug change etc it fires just doesn't like it and last time I suffered from all of that in the rain I ended up having to put on another oh that's smoking well oh I had to put on another um, spark plug cap but to be fair, if water's getting in via the filter, etc., it can make everything a little bit wet. I'm sure after a minute it will clear. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Forget the smoke coming out of the bike. Going up a mountain in the wilderness, probably with no phone signal at all. Anyway, about this hotel, Hotel Villa Plaza. So this cost me 68 euros last night. I've got a turn. I don't know how easy this is going to be to turn around here. I'm going to pull up here and turn around. Let's go this way. That might be better. That might be safer. Whoa, this is so steep. Right. Right, remember righty righty, Alan, you're abroad. Right, the thing of it is, this hotel here, this fantastic, beautiful hotel, I booked it with the, it's the only one I could sort of find that was reasonably priced and said, again, it had restaurant facilities, etc, etc. So when I arrived, they were just really welcoming. It was, I only had a tiny single bedroom um, for myself because the prices jumped up and I was like, you know what, if it's rubbish, at least I'm not paying loads of money for it. But it was the opposite. It was one of those really old-fashioned hotels. The lady, when I arrived, was really polite. I said about a restaurant, she said, there's one in the village down that you can go to. But the one, two-minute walk, all it was, said, is their favourite. Said, they love it there. It's, it's such a nice restaurant. So I was like, okay, well, that's obviously where I'm going to go. So what I did was, I unpacked, I did a load of stuff. I started getting some of my 360 stuff processing and then transferring footage. 
and I, and I went, then I went down for a, for a beer and I asked for a beer and she uh, I sat there and she said oh the fire's going in the other room well I didn't obviously know and um, she then so then she brought out my beer and some nuts and everything else just to summarise because I'm going to go on and on and on and on I they didn't charge me for the beer last night the room was small but really quaint and nice the view from the hotel was out of this world so the restaurant last night was absolutely fantastic but it had a bizarre menu so I used Google Translate and it said local kid of, uh, with potatoes <laughs> and I was like well, well there's not any children around here what's going on but um, so I ordered something else obviously it was wild boar stew and it was I had pretty much just a meat feast of food my starter was mixed cold meats so I had the meat sweats it was a, it was a, it was good it was uh, definitely different but very good anyway I went back I slept really well I edited an entire video this morning breakfast very simple but tasty little croissant etc anyway the thing what they did what was fantastic I was just saying thank you for a lovely stay, it was so nice, and she started going, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going, so I was like, oh, I'm heading around the mountains. So she started writing down loads of places in case which way I go, so I didn't know which way I was going. She said, must visit these, these are lovely. Anyway, just as I'm leaving, she goes, oh, she said, it's been our pleasure. They didn't charge me for the beer last night, they just charged me for the room. And then she said, can I make you a packed lunch for your tra like your travels? I did say I'm travelling the world and what I'm doing, and I'd store my bike. And I just thought, yeah, that would be lovely. So she's come out with a brown bag and she said it's got local juice, etc. So I'll have a look later what she's given me for like a little snacks for my travels. But I've got to say, 67, 68 euros, whatever that costs, compared to what I spent the night before staying at Posh ho Hotel, that won hands down. Absolutely hands down. And she kept saying, if you want to travel locally, I can stay again tonight. But obviously I'm not because I'm I said I'm, I'm gonna I've got big distances to do anyway I think I've just waffled on for like ages so let's just let's just crack on with some awesome miles kilometers I've got to feel it'll be within a few seconds because we're already doing some twisters but a few seconds when we get up on this more mainy road it's gonna be mecca absolute mecca so let's go and find out well it literally has been about 20 seconds and look <laughs> look what we got already oh yes now if this doesn't dry old Ashworth out I don't know what will beautiful sunshine I mean this I think still part of the village or we just coming out of it there was a load of petrol stations a second ago so I've got a feeling there isn't any for a little while but it's fine I've got nearly a full tank right here we go here we go for a day of awesomeness. I am like in my element already. Just I'm such in a happy mood from a great stay in a place to feeling energised and just ready to be in my happy place. Oh, look at this. Beautiful curves. Come on, Ashworth, baby. Let's hack it up this mountain. I am alright There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me I oh, don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 Play songs on the radio too loud This could be magical
escape and here we are Driving narrow streets in a rusty car Leading to the sea, think we're getting close We should take a pick, baby strike a pose Well, I've been climbing and climbing and climbing It is like, whoo, but through this amazing, almost like forest road it is it is amazing but one thing that's actually been changing is the temperature and of course the temperature's been changing it's still skiing season i'm getting a little bit chilly so i was like do you know what i'm gonna take a second and i'm gonna put my helmet head hoodie on because this morning i just saw the beautiful sunshine i was like oh just a t-shirt's gonna do it and this leave this jacket on in case it gets a little bit sort of chilly but no, no, quite quickly it's like, yeah, you really need to put your helmet head hoodie on. So I'm going to put that on. That'll be my first base layer. The higher we go, um, potentially, potentially, I have to get my heated gear out. But look how beautiful this is. And talk about roads. Oh, talk about roads. This is why I'm here. Look, look at these roads. They are just unreal. Twisties, twisties, twisties. Tarmac's amazing. Just wow. Look at it. And I'm going that way, so it's just going to keep going. What a day. What an awesome day. Well, I've just made it to one of my waypoints, Via Brunario. Brunario? Via Brunario. And um, it's literally, it's already stunning. Tuscany, baby. Tuscany. Check it out. Right behind me is a ski slope. Right down there is the ski slope. And it reminds me of when I was a kid, because when I went skiing with my dad, went on a little baby slope just like that. There's a little ski lift and you can go down it. And then you go back up and you're all doing what they call um, the snow plow as you're going down. And it just brings back so many memories. All the skiing shops are behind me there. It's obviously a very popular place and you've got ski instructors walking around looking all cool and sexy, because that's what they do. Via Bernardio, Tuscany, wow, just wow. But we've got so many more kilometres still to do of, of amazing roads. So shall we just jump back on the bike and see what else we can possibly find on this very excellent day? Well, I've just spent about 15 minutes sat on that bench over there having a yabba to my dad. If I'm going to give him a ring, I'm going to say, you won't believe where I am. It reminds me of when I was a kid because I actually learned to ski in Italy. I had a good old yabba that's really nice. Just really nice feeling. Right, so we are going to continue on. Now, to my next waypoint is 181 kilometres, but we just continue on these mountain roads. So I'm not sure exactly again if I'm going to stick to it or not stick to it because I might end up having a bit of an extra day because I've done so well for miles. Because when you're by yourself, there's a big difference. You don't really stop for very long because I'm one of these people that go, do you know what, I could sit and enjoy coffee and I should have, but I just go, I can't be bothered. I'm not really that desperate for one. And you think, I may as well just keep going and see what I can see because the riding is what excites me more than anything else. But this is definitely a very, very, very pretty place. Oh gosh, look at the ski resort. Oh, I should have some skis. Maybe I could strap some skis to Ashworth. So, we're going to continue and see what we find next on this wonderful, I have no idea really where I am or what I'm doing adventure, as always. <laughs> right, here we go. More miles or kilometres if you're European. Either way shall we okay so i've done a few kilometers i've gone off of that road and onto a road called the sp324 and the tarmac look at the tarmac it is literally brand spanking new sticky nice fast tarmac and the road's nice and twisty i've come down the mountain quite a bit now but it's just great, fantastic roads, absolutely incredible. Now I am sure that there's gonna be so much more amazing roads and things to capture, but this is just something special. And I think just down there, it's gonna get even more special. So I wanted to show you the region of Tuscany by motorcycle 
in the true 11 out of 10 style. It's about half 11 now, so I'm going to be stopping soon to enjoy my lunch that I've been given, well, my snacks I've been given from the hotel. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the most fun, epic road you'll ever see. Gotta make it fast right next to this black fire. It's just you and I now. Oh. Just make me move right, don't stop for nothing Till you're in my bloodstream, oh Wow, just simply wow. The roads, the roads are just, it's just amazing. And the thing of it is, Andrea said this is very popular for bikers and it is just bike after bike going zinging past me. Another one's going back by in the distance, but there is just loads, like it is just full. And they are giving it the serious, serious beans. I mean, I had some some close overtakes on bends by bikes and I'm going, oh, oh. Now don't get me wrong, Ashworth is a smile per mile machine, but with the right sports bike down here, Oh, or even to be fair, the scrambler, that would mow this up. But whew, I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm having such a great day. But what I've decided it's just literally gone 12 now and I've found this beautiful picnic spot. So I thought I'll open the little bag that she's given me of goodies and uh, have a little few minutes to chill and enjoy it. So shall we see what that amazing hotel have given me as my little snacks for the day? Now you're probably going to hear a lot of bikers and stuff going by because they're just blipping, but shall we see? I see this is so lovely. So first things first is a fruit drink and she did say it's local to the region. And you've got to remember they've just given me this to enjoy today. I didn't tell them I was on YouTube, I just I'm travelling the world by motorcycle. And we've got, I think this might be some biscuits. And we've also got a nice apple. I mean, that's lovely. She did say, what fruit do you prefer? And I was like, I like an apple, please. So, I think they make everything really mostly there. Oh, look. Oh, that's like some sweet bread cake. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 That is seriously tasty. Calm down bag, my bag's going mad. Pop it down there. 
great. A bit of healthy juice. Wow, the raspberry smell from that, that, that is strong. Wow, that is strong. That is like, basically like a smoothie. That is, that is lush. Wow, well, I'm gonna spend a few minutes, enjoy my apple, take in this vista and just chill. More bikes and more bikes are flying by. This is a cool spot. Well, it's time to continue. I feel quite full up after a little bit of like cakey biscuit and then uh, the apple. I'm just like, woof, I'm all full up. Sunglasses down because the beautiful sun is shining. And it looks like we're just going to take on a load more amazing twisters as we carve our way through. What a day, eh? What an exciting day of riding. Now every bike that went past me while I sat on that bench were waving. I feel like I've got arm strain. And then one guy was looking at Ashworth so intensely on, on all bikes on an Africa Twin that I've got home as well. He almost went into the side where he looked back and then he sort of did that weird flicker like ooh, 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 like that. He was very, very impressed, I think. Very impressed indeed. He probably had a little bit too much fun staring at Ashworth. But here we go, here we go. Look at just more roads. I think, I've got to be honest, my happy place, and I'm sure many of you are exactly the same as me, it's these mountain roads, isn't it? Get me in the mountains on my bike, like probably majority of bikers out there, and it's just heaven, it's just mecca, and I love it. Come on, Ashworth, dropping down a gear, powering up. Right, at some point, my plan is to potentially, I've got three bars of fuel, we'll see, use my fuel can, simply for the reason, it's the same fuel that has been in there, I think, since Africa, and I still haven't used it. So I really ought to use that and then refresh it, otherwise it's gonna be getting a bit old. Just, you know, just the, the, the joys of the bike, and I've noticed my chain is potentially now in need of a bit of lubrication. Still looks good could just do a bit of a spray so I must remember that later or the maintenance on the side of the road but but right now just more amazing roads and what I'll do I'm gonna find somewhere absolutely cinematic to stop next so I will see you in a second because otherwise I am just gonna play you twisty bend after twisty bend and be giggling going woohoo all right I'll find something epic and I'll show you well I've come off of those crazy roads it went on for absolutely ages broken tarmac up and down twists and bends some good first gear engine braking it sort of went past loads of nice houses but they had like bits of van and all sorts and then obviously struggled to get rid of stuff around here but some beautiful houses yeah but anyway I've come across this graveyard literally I've pulled in for a break not knowing that this was here just so I could have a look at the map see where I was but I saw this and it's a bit different to what we get at home, so I'm just going to show you. Now, I don't know if you can see well on the camera, but they've got all their, like, candles, what I'm guessing are solar-powered, lit, line all of the different graves. And it's, it's quite a spectacular place, and obviously extremely, extremely well cared for. That is just amazing, I mean wow i mean that is something to be fair quite spectacular to see and how well it's looked after and cared for by i take it must be all the villagers nearby i mean the italians really do know how to uh look after their dead i suppose it's it's quite it's quite a magical place and so peaceful and quiet and I mean they're just all full of flowers and it's amazing to be honest absolutely amazing to see anyway I'm going to be very respectful I'm not going to stay for very long and I'm going to um, continue our journey but it's just something something different something I've not seen before and looking at that there look how old this goes back 1983 to 1952 I'm guessing that's maybe a family it, yeah, a family that continue to obviously carry on the line as such, but 
Wow. Now, I was going to say, I'll look at the map and show you where I am. <laughs> but there's a road sign right there. Gombolia is where I'm at. That sounds like I'm somewhere in Africa, but I'm not. I'm still somewhere in Italy. And I think still in the Tuscany region. Also, the road sign says what road we're on. So the SP23. But, again, everything just continues to surprise me on this world adventure, this trip. I suppose we ought to get back on the bike and see what we can find next, but... Yeah, something special, very, very special. I think I've made a little bit of a boo-boo because I've kind of come off of that amazing rose and twisties through that bit that was like, well, was just bad tarmac, found that amazing place, and then I've sort of come down and now I'm on this kind of like industry long road. And I've got, until the waypoint that's not, you know, sort of the end of tomorrow's leg, like really, I'm kind of going to get there in like 118 kilometres or something. And I think it's pretty much this road that's just boring, fast road all the way. So I've done what I typically do in 11 out of 10 style. I've just picked somewhere that looks cool on Google Maps. It's not far from here. And I'm going to head there to see if I can get an epic shot and then come up with another plan. So this will either work or it won't. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope... I'm very shortly, I'm going to be able to give you the most epic shot in the entire world. So, I've parked up Ashworth because I've got to walk up, basically, this massive hill. But it's going to be worth it because the sign <laughs> that's been kind of scribbled together just says Big Bench. I want to find something epic, so let's find the Big Bench. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot steeper than I thought it was. Hopefully the bench isn't too far. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna be worth it. Every second, every mountain I climb, well, kind of hill really, but yeah, I'm gonna show you the sign. <laughs> it's a bit dodge really, but hey, big bench is big bench. Literally, it says, Big Bench. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Something to the bushes. Anyway, I'm not going to lie. It's getting steeper. <laughs> yeah. Steeper and steeper. Come on, let's keep going. Ashworth is somewhere quite far down there. I thought it was just a bit... I just thought it would be like a little bit as you ride up and you get off and it's just there. I didn't realise when I looked on Google Maps and it was just like the big bench and it looked pretty and it was on like looking over a mountain with fantastic views. I generally thought it was just not far. This best be worth it. This best be that ultimate viewing, unbelievable shot. Anyway, I've had to strip off from my helmet head jumper because I'm getting the sweats. <laughs> right, shall we crack on and get to this bench? Big bench this way, Bassos, 20 minutes that way. Let's keep going for the big bench. I think the thing to say is, when you're at your peak thickness, like myself, I think about my mate Jim all the time. And of course, drinking non-alcoholic non beers makes a big difference to your fitness level. You just feel refreshed the entire time. Completely like a proper British athlete. This is just going on forever. <laughs> we seem to be going downhill a bit now, so I'm getting my stride back and feeling cool. <laughs> Come on, can't be much further, surely. Surely not. We'll get there. We will get there.
got to say, that is definitely a massive bench on top of an unbelievable view. And I'm glad I made the hike to get up here. I was surprised how busy it was. I've been sat here for probably nearly an hour hoping the bench would be free and it wasn't and this lad was there for ages and people got down and got up and I was like you know what? I'm just gonna get up and do it get on with the shot um but I was just been chilling out looking at the view and spend a little bit of time trying to find somewhere to stay tonight I still don't really have a proper plan on what I'm gonna do tomorrow at the minute because I've kind of a day in front of where I need to be there's a, a dirt bike and some the, the two sort of blokey lads up there have tried to come flying up this really steep hill and almost come off their bike. I think he did come off at one point about three times, but he got it. He didn't give up and he got it and I was quite proud to see him. I wanted to go over and high five him, but they definitely don't speak English. Um, but yeah, now I've got to do the unbelievable trek to get down to my bike. I can't book the hotel. I found something that looks a bit interesting. Um, well, it's not, I don't think it's a hotel, but it's something in the middle of nowhere. So I might do that for a change. But whenever you use booking.com, you need your last three digits off your bank card to book it. Well, that's locked away on the bike. I didn't bring it with me. So when I get down there, I'll do that. So I'm going to take my little stroll back down to my beautiful Ashworth. Well, I made it back down the mountain. There was a few times I was slipping trying to hold on to my stuff. But anyway, we've made it all the way back. I have actually booked that place I'm going to stay in. I generally don't think it's a hotel. It looks quite fabulous on the pictures and it's got really good reviews. But I don't know, I'm such a hotel person, so I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. It's unbelievably cheap. I think it works out being £40 a night and includes breakfast. What is amazing, amazing price. But we'll see when we get there. It's about 28 kilometres away, and I've actually picked a route that looks really twisty. So we can have our last little bit of fun on the twisty roads. Now, I was just about to put on my helmet, and it just clocked. I said I was going to use up my fuel can. Now, that's the fuel that's come from Morocco, Africa and it was full and there must be about three quarters of the fuel left in it so i think it's because of the heat and the time it's kind of lost a bit <laughs> along the way <laughs> it sort of fumed out so it stinks but i need to burn through it so i can refill it so let's fill up ashworth now it's a skill to do this i don't think i can do it one-handed so i'm going to try you ready look at that bad boy the fresh old smell of fuel to be fair it was what three months old so it'll be fine and of course in true 11 out of 10 style i didn't spill a drop and i've got to say having that extra fuel can set it for is amazing lots of people always keep telling like saying to me and asking me where all this kit came from well obviously this whole it's like adventure is supported by midnight autos and if you're interested in getting all that setup done then please go and speak to lee it's based in western supermare the guy's a legend he's literally somebody described him the other day actually because he's recently fixed my van and just calls him the surgeon because he can just do so much bikes cars vans the lot so all the links to find where he is is down in the description but if you want that setup that unbelievable well conquering setup imagine that on your monkey or probably customize even something else he is the man to talk to. Right, finally, on the road. So, shall we look at the last final bit? What a day of paradise riding. Twisty, 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 twisty. Bumpf, 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 bumpf. Get there. Anyway, there looks like there's going to be a bit of fun for me to be had on the way. Oh, I still, I know I've already said it, but I still think mountains and motorcycles is just a happy place for everybody. Every motorcycle in the world must go, oh, oh, and today has been that day. Right, let's get my phone charging, spin old Ashworth around. Which way is it taking me? Is that the right way? Is that the right way? Oh, I think it takes taking me up there, back the way I came. Yes. Oh, so there's a moment when you pull off and you go, am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Now, the one thing I remember about these twisties is the tarmac is not always the best. There is cracked bits and stuff. So as much as I want to go mad, I already know I'm potentially not going to be. But if the tarmac picks up amazingly, then we will definitely make it 11 out of 10. If not, we'll just enjoy this blast to the... Uh, I can't call it a hotel, can I? The place that I'm staying 
that will be of interest without a shadow of a doubt. Right, power up, take in some absolute awesome bends. And do you know what? What a fantastic adventure just having these days to explore Italy. I feel like I've properly done Italy now. I've achieved that kind of Italian riding mountains and everything going. So I'm excited for the next leg of this world adventure as well because we're going to be hopping for a couple of countries and I've been offered to store my bike and be looked after by somebody that watches the channel um, and they've kind of got they've, I'm going to arrive there basically a couple of days before I need to because they're going to part a barbecue and stuff for me it's going to be lovely so I've got all that to look forward to and it's not very far away so the world adventure is going full swing at the minute without a doubt <laughs> I've just got to try to find some time somehow some way to squeeze some extra overtime in to uh, obviously keep paying the bills right let's just oh look at that view oh heaven absolute heaven mecca 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 right settle down and let's get some riding in Well, I've arrived at the place that I'm staying and I think I've proper looked out because when I pulled up, I was like, that can't be it, can it? There was people sat outside enjoying a drink. They've now left. Obviously, they've just driven by and stopped. Beautiful view. Beautiful place. Absolutely stunning. Easy, quick check-in. Brought me to my room. But just look at this. It's basically a house. Just look. I've got <laughs> entire dining room table. I've got kitchen facilities. I've got coffee up there i just got i could i could dance in here by myself tonight i've got a lovely luxury double bed it's just huge and the wood on the ceiling and there's something seriously special the heater's on and it's warm in here so it's opened the windows but it's left the heater on anyway what is in the heater the bathroom where's the light switch anybody see a light switch light switch no light switch ah light switch Nope. Nope. Ah. Light switch. <laughs> oh, look at this. Perfect. Toilet. That's a very small shower for my beautiful body. Uh, drinking fountain. Loo. And not just a fantastic room, but just down there. I can sit down, enjoy a beer, staring at the beautiful view, watching the sunset perfect and i'm here in really really good time as well so basically i think it's about quarter five something like that i've had a decent day of riding it's five o'clock pretty much five o'clock so i'm gonna get out of all these just enjoy that chill out beer and it gives me some time again to start getting the videos processed and editing since so i can get back to all of you as quickly as i can but i looked out i didn't know what i was getting i generally thought 40 quid to stay here is 30 euros what i can see for dinner that you can put on the price and all this stuff and there was menus as well, so they must do food. It's middle of nowhere. It's just, oh, at last, somewhere like this for me is just perfect. So I found the perfect place to chill out, do some editing, transfer some files with the beautiful sunset behind me. This is perfect, isn't it? I just need to get hold of somebody to get a beer just to make it absolutely 100% non-alcoholic, of course. But yeah, this is proper awesome. Well, you know, what they say There are no kingdoms without rulers Are you ready for change? We could be kings and queens every day On the low, we are brave Yes, even brave 